Saturday. It is day 33 here in Thailand. We have four days left. So, super excited for today. I'm actually going back to the dive shop and we are going on three dives today. Today's day number two for my open water course and as long as everything goes right and goes smoothly on my dives, I have to exhibit and demonstrate some emergency situations like what to do underwater if you run out of air. So hopefully after today, I'll be open water certified. Now just a little bummed out because Lily has been joining me on all these cool adventures and stuff and she's been going diving with me and unfortunately she's not gonna be joining me for diving today because she got some dental work done. She actually had two fillings, one on the bottom of her mouth and one on the top. So she's still sore from all the anesthesia so she definitely cannot go diving. So she's just gonna relax today, maybe get a massage and hang out, do some shopping. Yeah, I'm gonna miss her today. I think that's my tride. Yep. Nancy Diver. How you doing? Are you excited for diving? Yeah. Have you been diving before? Uh, no. Wow, this is your this is his first yeah. time. Well, snorkeling. Yeah, snorkeling. Awesome. Awesome. Are you excited? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what do you want to see? Um sharks. 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 Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe not today. Maybe not today. <laughs> maybe some fish. Maybe some other cool fish. It's first time diving. How old are you? Uh, six. Six years old, and he's going diving for the first time. How cool is that? Snorkeling. Snorkeling, not diving. Got it. Yeah, he's not allowed to dive yet. Okay, got it. Snorkeling. All right, we are back here, Atlanta diver. Day two. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Just chilling here, right in the front of the store. What's your name? <laughs> Look at this! I love seeing your sandals everywhere. <laughs> Jeez, only on the island. Oh boy! Oh, nice. My dive instructor Daniel here, one of the best on the freaking island. What's up, man? Good morning. <laughs> That's one of my favorite other instructors right there, Fabrice. No, no, you hate him. No, no, I don't hate you, man. I don't hate you. <laughs> Right, here we go. Good morning. Morning. Oh, this is a different boat, huh? That we're on. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. This is our captain. Captain of the boat. Yeah. So we're here learning about the difference between Buddhist boats and Muslim boats. So the Buddhist boats have ornaments in the front. And basically what they do is they're blessing the boat's spirit for safe journey. That's awesome. Okay. Cool. And then, uh, and then the Muslim, the Muslim boats. They don't have any. They don't have any. Got it. Cool. cool. Really cool. All right, we're about to check out the dive plan. What's the plan, Daniel? So we're just gonna start with when the captain honks the horn. Go down, gear up. Yep. Then do body check, breath. Breath. What did it stand for? Uh, yeah. Brazilian women really are foxy. <laughs> That's what you taught me. <laughs> BCD weights, releases, yep. air, fine locate. Yep. And then we're going to descend nice and slowly. Remember to equalize. Maximum depth for the first time is 12 meters. Yep. For 60 minutes or until we reach 50 bar. Hand signals, we remember? Yep. Yep. Something's, Something's wrong. wrong. Any point was wrong. If it's the mouse, yep. ears, belly. PP. PP. No PP no more. No PP wetsuits. Yes. Yeah. Up. Down. Down. I'm up to my level. Yep. I'm down. I'm down to my level. Kick. Current. Air. Like that, right? Yeah. And 50 ball. Or 50 ball lower now. Yep. Emergency procedures in case we lose each other somehow. We look around for one minute and then we ascend nice and slowly. Yep. And also in case we run out of air, which we're going to practice during the dive. Yep. Ascend rate for the dive nice and slow. We're following the computer. Yep. I will explain more about that later. Okay. That's the island over there. Okay, so real quick, we're doing
doing three dives today, but I can't bring the camera on the first dive because we're gonna be focusing on drills. We're gonna be doing out of air emergency situations. So I'm gonna be doing what they call a CESA, C-E-S-A, a controlled emergency swimming ascent, which means I run out of air and my buddy is not anywhere near me. So I gotta go to the surface really quickly. We're gonna practice that drill. And then we're gonna practice another drill when I run out of air when my buddy is next to me. So I'll be sharing his air tank. So can't bring the camera with me, but I'll be bringing the camera on the next second and third dive. All right, just got back from dive number one. It was a huge success. I definitely completed all of my emergency drill situations, buoyancy, I mean, ton of stuff. So dive number two, number three, we'll just be kind of just hanging out, chilling, and bringing the GoPro camera. Now it's break time. We're gonna go get some fruit. All right, we're back here in Koha, dive number two. This is where we're going. to go right now we're gonna eat lunch and then jump back in the water in about an hour also wanted to mention on dive number two saw some really cool fish that I've never seen before we saw this these giant huge uh, they call them bat fish it is so freaking beautiful out here <laughs> it's like a, just a rock sticking out of the water this is where we went diving all along this thing right here and we're now gonna go diving over there. Here's the dive plan for dive number three. Koha number one. That's how Koha looks like. Looks like a long cucumber. Bro, what are you, what are you drawing, man? <laughs> 20 to 100 balls. Oh. Yep. So, 100. All right, we are now going on dive number three.
the sea of sandals you only see this on the islands congratulations david well done certified diver <gasps> awesome yes focus there's my dive car oh i'm excited about this it's like getting my driver's license when i was 16 years old <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is more exciting. Driving a car is boring. Here's another shot. This is the temporary card. I'm getting the real one in the mail in about a month. After a long day of diving, the best thing to drink is a coconut. So this is how they do it in Thailand. We have 12 people crammed in the back of a truck. <laughs> three small ones. Yeah, three small all right, here's our dinner for tonight. We actually got room service. Pretty cool. Got some pad thai, fried rice with eggs. Seriously, the eggs in Thailand taste so damn good. Way better than America. They're so bright orange and yellow. That's why eggs should be. We got an egg salad, and we got some fried chicken with cashew nuts, a mango smoothie, and a strawberry smoothie. Yummy! Alright, just got back home and I know I said it earlier, but I am just so, so excited. I don't think you understand. Becoming a certified diver has been on my life list for such a long time. So being able to cross that off my list and say that I did it. You know that feeling when you were 16 years old or 18 years old or wherever your age was and you got your driver's license for the first time and you could operate a motorized vehicle and how excited you were for that? Well, becoming a certified diver is just like that. I mean, you're not operating any vehicle really, but I, you are a certified diver to do something that's really cool and explore a whole new world. And it's just so much fun. So I'm just, I just have those feelings again as if I just got my driver's license. But anyways, that's it. I think we're gonna wrap up this vlog early. Just gonna call it an evening, go get some food, hang out. We got a pre-pack because we're actually leaving we're leaving in like a day and a half, so we gotta kinda get ready and re return our bikes and do a bunch of stuff the next few days. So I'm gonna call it early. This vlog is now over.